When most people go and get lessons or listen to audio, you went to a burger van. Uh, indeed, I had, few burgers, I had a few burgers as well. <laughs> Don't worry about that, mate. Getting his sleeves on, glasses on, come on all like that. Oh my God. Who won? Uh, I think Gaffer won. Gaffer won? Don't tell Nigel, though. <laughs> do, do, do. Nigel, Nigel Rio, Coca. Do, do, do. You Gaffer got beat, ever. <laughs> Stan Petrov one up on the four hole challenge. Stan's got the, the big stick out. The big dog. And at Ledbrook Park here, um, each hole's got a name. I like that. It's a bit of class, that. This is Fox's Walk. Let's see what we've got with the foxes. Oh. Oh, gee. Straight down the middle. Oh, oh, the Look at the pose. <laughs> Shall I move now? Hey, he's not moving for no one. Shall I move now? <laughs> what a oh, shot. Right, let me do that. Let's see what you've got. Oh. <laughs> Thank God I've got a shot on this hole. Right, here we go. Do, do, I'm ready do. to run. I need a good shot. Do, do, do. I need one right now. Oh, yeah. nice. That's Bit of nice. draw. That's nice. Bit of Drory McGraw. That's good. I love that take draw. It. It's nice. Are you sure you don't have lessons? <laughs> Drory <lessons>? McElroy. <laughs> 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 right, here we go. Quality. So Stan is the master plan to become a manager? Yes, yep. I'd like to, I'd like to. That's why um, I've paid so much uh, attention to it. I had to do it in a proper way. Um, I wanted to do it step by step. Yep. And it's about opportunities and uh, who you think you can do the job and you know what kind of personality you are. So definitely. definitely. What kind of manager do you think you'll be? Because you're quite a chilled um, guy, but I can imagine if someone annoys you, you will tell them. A leader? Yeah. I think I'll have an emotional approach, uh, confidence, yeah. authority, I'll say, consistency, and probably desire to, to achieve. Yeah. I don't think you can go wrong with this kind of things. Uh, I believe uh, this is important in, in sports, in any sport, especially if you want to be a manager. Players have to, you have to lead in the right way. They have to believe in you. You have to be consistent. You have to have a desire to achieve because if you don't, yeah. they won't follow you. Cool. And uh, you know what? Players are very smart these days. Absolutely. They, they know everything. They know what's happening. They can, they can smell, I would say, the oh, bullshit course. straight away. Yeah, yeah. Right and away. The and the fear. Right away. Of yeah. course, of course. And if you don't start in the, in the first second, you don't show them that you're the man and they should follow you, yeah. what you stand, stand for, you don't have a chance. Absolutely. And you know what? I've seen it with a lot of managers and that's not their fault. It's just how they manage. And I've seen it. You know, sometimes I'll see a manager who walk in and you're thinking, mm. and really? That, yeah, down the line, you, you, you say, that's what I thought from the first second. Is, that, is, it, is it seriously like that? Of course. So your manager will walk through the door and if he's not of walking, course. like, of you know straight away, like. Of course. I mean, Listen, knowing you coming today, yeah. it's competitive, yeah. As yeah. much as you want to have a fun, oh, of course. you want to win, it's I can all about see that. Win. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, but it's the same with the manager, you know. If you walk in and you you just think, see, with Villa, when we had Martin O'Neill, we had a great success. Yeah. So everybody, every other manager, we tried to compare him with that first successful team and successful manager. Yeah. And as soon as they don't show you that commitment and that desire, you go, no, it's not the same. You know, something is missing. So you're not committed as you used to be. Yeah. But if we have the manager all of a sudden, that he goes, okay, he's here to, to achieve. He's here to lead us in the right way. Yeah. Okay, now we are ready. Because don't forget that when Matt Tierney was at the club, and I've, what you try to do is learn from the manager you've been with. Of because course, of course. And you become your own yeah. personal manager. But you take bits from each, don't of you? Of course. Yeah. And you have to. You get the bad stuff. Yeah. 
<laughs> get out get there. Out there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You try to use the you think that what is going to work for you. Yeah. And you just try to implement and that's the way it work. And, uh, you know, it doesn't matter that they're the bad manager. They just don't have, they, they didn't have what it takes to lead that team. Yeah. Which is nothing wrong with that. No, and true. I don't want to be that kind of manager. No, of course not. But Gerard Julio with you wasn't fantastic, was he? No, listen, I, I, I had a bit, uh, a big problem with uh, Gerard, but he, listen, this is, it was his own view. That's yeah. why I never judge him on it. I try to understand. We, you know, with Gerard Ulier, I found a little bit of honesty and a little bit of uh, honesty, you know, because yeah, yeah. Um, he would, uh, I would have played and then he brought a new player. And he wasn't honest with me at the start. He was like, uh, I'm going to rest you. You're at that age, you need to rest. But you know and it was what? all bullshit. You keep, you keep coming and tell me that in front of, we'll have a, a coffee for, before the game. And, you know, I remember Fabian Delve used to sit always with his hand and he was like, Stan, what is he talking about? That's six weeks in a row. He's keep telling you, you need the rest. <laughs> how, much, how much rest do you need? Yeah, but I was, I was the captain of the team. So for me, it was about acting in the right way. Yeah. I knew that he's looking for a reaction. I know in football, things change very quickly. Yeah. A second can change it for you. Cool. And I had to be patient. I had to work. I had to work three times harder than anybody else just to make sure I don't give him an excuse. And you know what? When he actually started playing me and we managed to survive, yeah. he pulled me in office and said, you know what? I was wrong the way I was treating you, but you show me what kind of character and a man you are. So he shake my hand, but we just left. Fair but, dues to him. Yeah, of course. There's not many course. people. That's why I have a lot Apo of respect. Apologize. No. no. No, and I had to go through it. I had to go through that suffering. I had to make sure that I do the right way because end of the day, the boys are looking for advice from me because I was the captain, captain the course. support to lead in the right way. I couldn't just go and just, you know, yeah. get out, you know, okay, yeah, yeah, exactly. And then I understood how important it is how to treat players, to be patient yeah. with the players, what was players' mind, you know, I was in a situation that I can give up. I could just, just like I said to you, give yeah. up. But then you need to understand this kind of situation. And maybe if you have another, if I become manager and I will, I have an issue like that, how I'm going to approach yeah. it, how I'm going to deal with it. And what is the importance? Is it important for him to go and humiliate in front of his teammates? Yeah. Or maybe, if you, you know what, if he'd have pulled me, him, take him in yeah, there, yeah. just tell me, by the way, John McCoon, which is a great player, we, yeah. we struck a great partnership with him. Yeah. We, we end up playing together at yeah, one yeah. point, you know? You could just talk to me. I'm a man. That's what about players is honesty and trust. Yeah. That's it. Nothing else. But when he said to you, you know, Stan, sorry, I was wrong. Did you just look at him and go, yeah, I know. Yeah. I, I, <laughs> you know, I, I know you're wrong. Yeah. I, I proved you wrong. But for me, it was not the, that to go and my ego to say, you know, you were wrong. Yeah. It, that was my job. I'm yeah. a player. He's the manager. His job is on the line. So you have to understand what he's coming from. Bring in the big dogs. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, I, I agree with that. Don't tell me you're going to get your seven iron out. Has <laughs> <laughs> he got seven iron <laughs> out? Oh, <my> out. <laughs> cool. <laughs> it's incredible, that. I've got a shot on you on this shot on this hole. Course management. Another, another <laughs> shot. Yeah, this one. One sec. Now, come on, just be, just be sensible. Don't let Stan get in your head. No. <laughs> beautiful. 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 Is that in the green? No, that's on the green. It's on, mate. That's on the green. <laughs> oh, look at him. Look at him. Stanley, look at the moves. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe that. Pattern Hardy. I'm just running. Oh, you're right. Oh. Oh. Pressure. Going back to your Celtic days, Stan. Um, the old firm derby. That is my favourite game, favourite derby to watch. Let me know at home what is your favourite derby to watch. But for me, it's the old firm derby. What are they like to play in? Electric. <sighs> Tell you what. You know, we used to have, and um, I hope you, you remember him. Um, he was a Celtic legend. And, um, you know, when I went to Celtic, I, I knew, obviously, you know the man Tommy Burns? Yeah. yeah. Oh, he's, he's, a le he's a legend of the club, yeah. What a man. What a man. He will sit me every day, and obviously, when I start... Uh, speaking the language and he will talk me through what is the old firm right. all about. 
he will go and he will, he will go right and his veins will pop out and he will talk with such a passion about how everybody just raised their game the week before and how important it is, how, what, about, what, what, what the game means about the city. And you know what, the game haven't even started and I'm like, oh, I want to be part of that. <laughs> yeah. But he knew that I was that kind of player. I wanted to play, I wanted to fight, I wanted to batter, I wanted to give everything. So he knew how to actually prepare me for it. Yeah. And I'll tell you what, I love every single moment because when the games approach, the week before, the build-up, the training session, I remember when we had the stronger team, I mean, in the team we had Bobo Bado, we had John Hudson, we had Chris Sutton, we had Yoho Miyavi, I mean, rocks. Yeah. yeah. Tell you what, through the training, elbows, <laughs> two foot tackles, yeah, yeah. honestly, you can feel Something is coming. Yeah. Something is wow. happening here. And I tell you so what. So the week before the game, the you, before, it was different in training. I people were like. You know, before we always have that competitive age. But when that game comes. And you know, the, 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 the interesting thing is that Henry Klassen. Yeah. Tell you what. When the old firm comes, is finishing in training, his approach, his focus. Yeah. You can smell it. He's just like, oh my God. Yeah. Yeah. This is, this, is, this is special. And you know, I loved every single bit of it because I knew what it was all about. I knew that the world was talking about that game. Yeah. And I, I'm part of that game and I have to be at my best. It's not, it's not second best. Second best. Well, the Celtic fans wouldn't let you, would they? No. They, if you weren't running on no. the old firm derby, especially, you know, they'd let you know. You're not allowed. Yeah. It's just an unacceptable. And you know, it creates that winning mentality for you and that. You know, togetherness as a team because we fought together for something special. Yeah. And it was a special thing. It sounds amazing to play and I'll tell you it what, is, it's it absolutely is. amazing oh to watch. Oh my God, I'm on. <laughs> again. Oh, look at this. Look at where he is. I need to produce something. You can place it, can't you? On the... ah, it's all right. Yeah. Oh, shot in hell. I need to come out here. You have a shot as well, yeah? Ryan shot him. Yep. Stan, you know what this is for, don't you? Yeah. This is for... Can you do it? <laughs> Can you do it? I want to see Absolutely it. Absolutely no chance, I but I like dancing it. the birdie I dog. I want to see it. I want to see it. <clears throat> I'm going to try the Stan Petroff trick. Come on then. You know, sometimes when I say, I sort of roll in these random putts. <laughs> this could be it. Oh. 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 Take care, I'm giving you this one. You, you'll be happy Alan with this Parr. one. You know, sometimes I say this random put just go in. <laughs> Here he goes again. <laughs> <laughs> Did I say that before? <laughs> oh my God. If I, if I sit that in, I can't see that one. All square All on square. the four hole challenge Go. onto the last. This is big. I can't believe he keeps asking for shots. He's oh. been asking for every hole. Oh, <laughs> Good luck. Mate. Right, Good no man. shots on this hole. No shots. And I think, honestly, I am listening to everyone, people I play against, and you guys at home. I do think me and Ange have got to go and play three rounds and find out what actually is my handicap. So let us know if you uh, want to see that. Because I, I honestly think I'm about 18. Yeah, but how, how, do you, how do you accumulate that? How because do I don't get to 36 points for very often off 18. Okay. So... Shut up, Ange. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, but they, I shot, yeah, I shot 12 over last week. Yeah, but that's the first time in about... about yeah, Shut yeah. up, you... I'm not a bandit on purpose. I actually think I'm 18, but I'll come down. I want to come down anyway. Oh, here we go, six iron. Oh, that's what exactly, that's what. <laughs> He's definitely 18. 
There we go. Get it and heat it. Oh, for love! <laughs> <laughs> What's happened to us? <laughs> <laughs> go fly, it's the only life I know. Go fly, when I roll it, about 30 yards. So Stan, uh, two absolute comical shots, um, which leads me to my next question. Who's the funniest guy in football you've played with? Oh, I have to pick uh, Ashley Young. Ashley Young. He is hilarious, man. You know, he's not just his jokes and uh, his uh, character as well, but he takes the banter as well. He takes he it, He gives yeah. a lot, but he takes it. And he's always come up with a smile on his face and he wants to be involved in everything. He's pushing everything with a happiness. And uh, I'll probably get him. Ashley Young. <laughs> yeah. Ashley Young. Yeah. What sort of stuff was he doing in the change room? <laughs> everything. Everything. Cutting people's trousers, uh, throwing uh, uh, trainers uh, in the pools. I mean, <laughs> everything. All yeah, sorts, yeah. you know, putting uh, a lot of stuff in people's cars and... You know, we can go on and go on, and uh, he was on, always on it. You know, sometimes you think, how the hell have we seen that? Yeah. How we've not seen my tracks or my trainers and that? He's all the time, <laughs> he's, he's there, there yeah, somewhere. everywhere. So some of the boys will come in and they'll lock their, their lockers, and they won't let him get <laughs> yeah, where into is he? Yeah, Where is that young? But you'll find that time, and he'll just make sure something that everybody will laugh and everybody will get involved, and this is all about, and probably I'll say probably Ashley Young. That's what you need in football, isn't of it? Of course. Fun. You, you need characters like that. Yeah. And he, you know, he came every morning with a smile on his face and he wants to be interactive and he wants to have a, a, a loud uh, a laugh and that's yeah. what you want to do. And the big mystery about Ashley Young is he claims that a bird didn't poo in his ear. Do you remember when he was playing? Uh, the bird, the bird drop. The bird drop. And he says it didn't happen. You were really close with him. Did he get shit on? Should we text him and ask him? <laughs> <laughs> it looks like he happened. He keeps denying it. He keeps denying it, but he was there to see. Uh, he, he says he's writing a book, so he may, he may put that one on. <laughs> we'll read it. We'll What's decide. the title of his book? Just, Bird shit. Ash, I just sold your book, just to let you know, mate. <laughs> hey, John, get on here, we'll sell your book. But you did get pooed on. Right. If you picked up a seven iron again... <laughs> oh, my God! But I actually think oh I actually God. think it, I I actually got to put it away. Uh, my trusty seven. I no, got. Don't. Listen, Don. No, because it's going to go in the uh, ditch down there. Can't believe you. And that's why. Can I just say that's why we're not hitting drivers because there's a big ditch that runs yes. along. Not a ditch. The thing. What's it called? A ditch. Yeah. A moat. Right. Eight iron. This needs to be good. Oh, oh, beautiful, like that. like that's that. what it's about. Look at this. This is brilliant. This is brilliant. I am hitting the ball better, that's apart nice. from that one. Nah, that happens. <sighs> Lovely that stuff. Happens. You should not let that one affect you. Have you brought, you know, since you started, yeah. I've changed three sets of club. Have you? Clubs, yeah. Two have been in the lake. <laughs> what the heck? Yeah. Just walked in and just dropped it. Please tell me you some did that. Of, yeah, yeah, some of the boys tried to get in the swimming, get them, but they couldn't. Uh, just left it. Uh, <laughs> I've said to, Out of frustration? Yeah, I said, I, listen, I, I've you got... You don't get angry, do you? Uh, got... At the start, I, I really, because all the boys were so good and I'm so competitive. Yeah. And they'll just laugh. They'll just banter. They'll just... That, and I hate and I, I've been throwing clubs and I, they're like, this is not a great etiquette because I said, I don't care. I just don't care. Leave me alone. <laughs> Leave me, alone. <laughs> Leave me alone. I just want to do the right thing. I want to win. And uh, listen, it's uh, it's been really colourful uh, journey for me as a, as a golfer, just getting better. Yeah, yeah. And like I said to you, it's, uh, these clubs have been uh, with me for nearly a year and a half, so they're doing okay. They've seen that we're doing all right, mate. Right, seen yeah. them we're doing all right. And they found oh, it as well. Mate. They found it. Oh. Oh. Advantage, Stan Petrov. Yes. Look at this. Look at me. Now, on a serious note, please don't do your ankle or anything. No, no. This is a great shot. <laughs> this is a great shot. <laughs> How are you going to do this? Huh? Too, too much thinking won't help. I'm going to hit an eight iron down there. Are you just going to go straight? Yeah. Just over that tree. 
just a punch. This will be a great. You get in a shot. Where, 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 where is it? Yeah, he's there. <laughs> yeah, everyone's taking photos. <laughs> this will be a great shot. It's, it's incredible. <laughs> I don't think I've, I've hit her as well. <laughs> That's brilliant, that. What is it? Oh, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh dear. This is why we love golf, Stan. Oh. It's all about timing. I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep that eight iron. <laughs> Stan, it's been well documented, mate, that your uh, football career was cut short by the horrible uh, disease, leukemia. I'm just so happy that you're looking fantastic now, mate. You look wonderful, back to full health, but <laughs> horrible, eh? Huh? Yeah, it's, uh... thanks for reminding me, I kind of forgot about this. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry to remind no, you. No, it's all right. Uh, listen, I'll, I'll bring you like we both went through something yeah. difficult, you know? And uh, it was life changing. Hit your ball and we're going to continue talking. Yeah. Because we can become emotional. I don't want you to become emotional <laughs> and then blame me that you've hit the, or shanked the shot because I need you to do that. Right. <laughs> 217 yards. I've gone five iron. Not bad. I've gone five iron. Oh, oh, oh. nail it. Oh no, it's dropped. <sighs> Chance. Going back to, yeah, it was a life changing for me. Uh, it was something that I never expected to happen. Um, you know, being a footballer, living the, the glamorous life and you know the success and playing in the Premier League and you know doing the right things and chasing my dreams and what I wanted to be as a boy and you know being diagnosed with leukemia first of all it's a life-threatening disease yeah secondly you say it took away my dream and that was like playing football that's what I've done all my life yeah as a little kid you know you go through different stages different um, problems and um, different hurdles and I just it was taken away from me I don't know what was really more hard for me T football take, being taken away from me yeah or being diagnosed with leukemia because at that time I didn't really much know about leukemia yeah so we knew we know the, the word cancer but you know when you're diagnosed with leukemia it's, I didn't know what was involved I didn't know the mental issues I didn't know the impact on my family I didn't know that everything in my life would have been completely different so when i went through it listen i went to dark places me me my wife and my kids have seen me to places that i don't wish to anybody else yeah you know i i nearly give up on my treatment twice uh, i uh, i went to really depression for a, for a while as well and it's normal my treatment was three years so three, three years, years of you know a year a year and three months I was an intensive chemo, so that means for a year and two months, I was constantly in the hospital. I could hardly spare time with my kids. I could hardly uh, hug my kids. You know, if I go in one room, we need to make sure this all fresh air is coming in. They have to get out of there. You know, speaking with my kids uh, through a door. You, you know, it, this is the things that people don't see. And for me, it was very difficult because I was the man of the house. I, I was the one that producing for the family. I was the one who always tried to be either for my kids, for my wife, to do the right things. And all of a sudden, what you see is you can't do all these things. Yeah. I have to put this fake, play, you know, my thoughts in the back of my head is like, will I survive? Yeah. What my kids, my family will do without me, how I can deal with that, how strong I need to be. And you know what? You just put that mask and you just want to be as strong as you can. But eight, nine months down the line, it's like, 
you know, I didn't have energy. I was sleeping all day. I had uh, uh, a chemotherapy every every three days. I, I have uh, 96 hours uh, uh, chemotherapy. You know, it was like my head was a mess. So this was a really difficult for me to 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 really deal with. Yeah. And uh, my wife was there beside me. That's where you, you know, sometime in our life we try to find the perfect half. Yeah. Well, I managed to do it, and uh, she was incredible. Mrs. Me. Petrov. Mrs. Petrov. Well done. She's a good looking as well. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but what I say, she's changed everything completely to me. My diet, what I have to eat, even to to these days. Yeah. You know what? A lot of people say, uh, Stan, what? Why will you not eat this? What are you trying to do? And I said, guys, from my perspective, I try to give my, myself the best chance I can to live as long as I can. Yeah, yeah. Because it was nearly taken away from Absolutely. me. Absolutely. And I don't want to put that, that, myself in that position again. So no, really, where you'll never be in that position yeah, again. Yeah, but, but I didn't realize that was so long because when I had the dodgy ticker, I was literally had the heart attack. They went, you had two minutes to live. But like, Seven months later, I'm back on the golf course playing football. I didn't work three years, must have been but absolutely how, hell, man. Did your mentality change since then? Did you appreciate life more? No, my, me, my mentality different? changed already when I admitted I was an alcoholic. So I'd gone through all that life changing, sort of like this is better life now, better life now. And then when boom, that happened, I was like, oh, kicking a cock. Okay. Yeah, but I, did, I didn't go through that life changer thing because I've already done that before how many, how many with the life, alcohol. How many lives you've got, man? Huh? How many lives you've got? <laughs> got more lives than a cat, this yes, man. Look at him, and he hinges the ball. I'm still standing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah but how good is to to see you kicking, walking around, hitting the ball, and enjoy life. And you, mate. This is you can't ask for more. You You're know, right. having a bad shot. Who cares? <laughs> Who cares? Yeah. We'll just put Who one cares in there. indeed? <laughs> Could be a lot worse. Yes. Right, is it uh she my friend, I think? Is it me? I think so. <laughs> okay guys. Can I still win that hole? <laughs> <laughs> do, do, can't do. Believe that. I don't think he's I'm got sorry, a chance. I can't believe do, that. Do, do. Did I, I think say it's yeah. shot. <laughs> oh my god. That better go in then. Oh. No, oh, that's a shank. That's a shank and he's long. That's a that's an other T. Oh that's not bad. Shank McAvenny. Shank McAvenny. <laughs> right, come on. No. Oh, that's no. in a ditch. Oh. Oh, oh no. I've got I think I've got a chance here. Oh, I've got a chance here. <laughs> Oh. I've got a chance here. What a tit. I think he's out of bounds there. It's <laughs> it. <laughs> a question I ask everyone. Um, if you could have a caddy for the day, anyone, past or present, any walk of life, walk around carrying your clubs, who's it going to be? Male or female. Male or female, anything you want. You know what? I'll get Roy Keane. <laughs> <laughs> Roy Keane, wow. <laughs> I'll tell you why, because I love his commentary. He's, he's a good friend of mine and he, he's very strong. He's got a strong opinion. He'd be in your caddy, you tell him what to do and he don't have a right to say what he thinks. <laughs> yeah, I'm just going to go for Roy Keane. Roy Keane. Roy, what? please. <laughs> Roy, please. please come and be my caddy as well. <laughs> Imagine he'd just absolutely batter you, wouldn't he? No, you'd be... Well, he'd batter me, not you, because you're his friend. No, he's, listen, he's, he's a good man. He's a good man, but I'd love to see it. You know, 18 holes, talking with him. Listen, uh, when I played with him at Celtic, he was, he was incredible. Yeah. He was brilliant. He will make me drive him everywhere. Really? Training, food, everywhere. It was, it was brilliant. <laughs> you're not going to argue, yeah. are you? <laughs> no, he never argued. So I just, 18 holes with him, just talking. And, you know, like you say, he may he give you a bit of nudge but i think you'll be quiet because you have to be quiet on the course absolutely you can't shout he shut him up we won't give him, we'll shut him down <laughs> but everyone does see the roy Keane, like you know giving it in commentary and obviously the player tackle rah, rah, rah. what is the real the real roy Keane like quality yeah. i have a great relationship i think you need to some people you know they don't let you know who you are and they're more private and roy is like that and you know i've managed to understand and see the, the other side of him and I love chatting with him, you know, you, you 
you text now and then, you know, something strange and something <laughs> funny. Yeah. But it's 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 a different site, and uh, you know, I love it. I yeah. love it, and a lot of people have a different opinion. But, but a lot of people don't know him. Exactly. Exactly. People just judge him because like he puts like, two footed tackles in and stuff like that. But he he wants to win. Well, I mean, I don't know him, but I've heard he's a well, lovely guy and quite funny. Exactly. Very funny. Don't judge a book by its cover. There you go. It's all gone tits up last hole. What a guy, by the way. What an absolute legend. I love him. But I don't even know where I'm going. Yeah? There. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there. <laughs> there. I'm going to stand where, where the flag is. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Oh, here we go. Help. He's not moving. Big Andrew's not moving. Oh, what a shot. Oh. What? <laughs> oh, Stan, you're, you're under pressure. Oh, oh, oh. Kenny. That's not bad. I'll take that one. Oh, that's a great putt. That's a oh. great putt. Give you that. In for seven. Yeah. Is that me for seven or eight? Eight, uh, aren't we? Eight. Eight. It's for eight. You give me that, don't you? Yeah. Thank God for that. <laughs> that was the four hole challenge. That was Stan Petrov. And Stan Petrov is one hell of a man. I absolutely love him. Thank you so much, mate. I loved it. So loved good, it. mate. Congratulations. Thank you very you much. You deserve it. It's not about how bad I am, how good you are. And you'd, you're definitely not 80. I'm not having that one. <laughs> Another person who says, I've got to have one of those tests. Listen, I've got to have one of those tests. Four, a great show. I yeah. watch it all the time. Keep doing it. Thank you, mate. And get people to play because that's all about exactly. a lot of fun. Go fly. And enjoyment. Exactly. And you make us do that. Thank you, mate. I appreciate that. Thank, Thank you. you so much. You're welcome. Please like and subscribe. Love him.